Hi, I'm Kate from Foremost Fitness and in this short video today I'm going to take you through a basic Pilates warm-up. Just doing a few exercises to mobilise the body, get you breathing, get you moving, get you started. You can use these little set of exercises that we're going to do next as um, a little bit of an exercise routine every day or you can use it as a bit of a warm-up before other exercises or you can use it as a cool down after you've done some exercises. These exercises are safe to do every day, but if you have an illness or injury, you need to consult your doctor or see a physiotherapist before doing these exercises. Let's start. So I'm going to start with some breathing. I'm going to have you either sit or lie down. I'm just going to sit with my legs crossed here. And breathing is super important, especially in Pilates movement. We want to allow the body to breathe. We want to let the ribs Flow. we want to feel the breath going all the way through the body so let's just take a moment and I just want you to breathe to stay alive so don't worry about connecting anything or whether you're breathing in or breathing out let's just breathe for a second and again just take another big breath in and out with me Now let's focus on that breath a little bit more. So I'm going to have you breathe in through your nose and see if you can direct the breath a little bit lower down to the lower lobes of the lungs, almost down to your bottom. So let's try that now, breathing in through the nose. And I just want you to sigh it out through pursed lips. I'm going to do that two more times. Big breath in. And a big breath out. As you're breathing in, I want you to feel like you're expanding to the back and sides of the ribs, down to the bottom, up into the body, everywhere you can. And as you breathe out, we want to feel like the body's just melting in and trying to find that little bit of wrapping connection into the tummy, into the pelvis, and into the ribs. So I'm going to lie down now and just do a couple more breaths with you here. I'm going to get you to come into a Pilates neutral lying down. And you can have a pad or pillow or a block under your head if you prefer that. I haven't got one today, uh, but if you feel more comfortable with the pillow, then go ahead and grab one. So when you're lying down, I just want you to be aware of certain parts of the body and equalizing the weight through the body. So we're going to have the head nice and centered. And there's a knobby bit on the back of the head called your occipital point. And we want that to feel like it's centered so you're not one side or the other side of the knob or you're in the middle. We're opening up our shoulders and creating space across the collarbones. And your shoulders should feel kind of heavy on both sides. And just bring that awareness into the rib cage area. And our ribs should be pretty much heavy on the mat, although we, we probably won't feel all of the lower ribs down on the mat here. And then we get to this lumbar area, and there should be like a little gap. So we have a little lumbar arch. That's a natural curve of the body, and we want that to be there. We're going to think about our bum. And the back of the bottom, the bottom, uh, we've got our sacrum, and we want that to be heavy and centered. So that's the, the solid, knobbly bit towards the top of the bottom here. And we want that to be nice and heavy on the mat with that little bit of lumbar arch, nice soft ribs, open collarbone. Have a quick peek at your knees. Ideally, the knees are lined up with the bones of the pelvis and give the toes a little wiggle. And we want to feel that lengthening feeling from your head to your toes. Let your arms relax or if you want, if it helps you, you can place them on your tummy to focus and give yourself a little bit of proprioceptive feedback for that breathing. And we're just going to breathe two more breaths in and out, breathing wide and deep, breathing through the nose. As you blow the air out, let the ribs drop. Continue with your out breath and just feel that wrapping connection through the rib cage, through the hip bones, into the pelvis. Let's do that again. Inhale, breathing wide. And exhale, letting the ribs drop and feeling that gentle wrapping connection. Great job. Now I'm going to think a little bit more about those shoulders. So let's just float the arms up to the sky here. So when you lift your arms up, sometimes we, we forget where they need to be and they're too far back. So you're going to angle your arms slightly forwards. And you want to have that feeling that the, the hand is just that tiny little bit forwards of the shoulder or over the shoulder. And we're going to do a little shrug forwards and backwards to the sky. So I want you to use your breath with this. Don't worry if you get confused, just breathe to stay alive. I'm going to shout a breath out for you. Join in if you can. So we're going to breathe in to reach forward. I'm going to breathe out, sigh the air out. And let the 
shoulders go heavy on that mat again. So we're going to breathe in to reach forward. And then sigh the air out. And I want you to feel like you're connecting a little bit into this armpit area and feel like you're just melting the shoulders back to the mat without pinching them. Let's just do that one more time. So we're going to breathe in, take a little reach to the sky. And breathe out. And feel the shoulders melt down and back. And while I'm doing that, I'm also finding a connection into my tummy. We're just going to do one arm circle each way just to get a little stretch. So we're going to breathe in to lift, keeping control of the rib cage. You're not popping the ribs up or arching the back. As you exhale, circle those arms around and reach the fingers towards the feet. We're going to reverse that. Inhale, stretch the other way, taking a circle around behind you. And then as you exhale, we're feeling that sit bone, hip bone, rib cage wrapping as you bring the arms back down by the sides. Let's think a little bit more about pelvic placement and tummy muscles. So we're going to do an exercise called your imprint. Um, it's about connecting a little bit deeper into the core and allowing the pelvis to tip posteriorly and then controlling it back into neutral. So we've already thought about neutral, haven't we? We've got this slight lumbar arch here. Now, when we want to connect our abdominals, we want to wrap them around. And we want to get this feeling of almost like you put a big towel around you. But when we go into an imprint, we actually do tip the pelvis, if I bring my arms up here, we tip the pelvis backwards slightly, so you get that feeling of the deeper abdominals pulling the belly button closer to the spine. So let's just practice that. I'm going to keep my arms up so you can see, but I want you to rest your arms down by your sides for me here. So we're going to breathe in to expand into the body. As you breathe out, I want you to let the ribs drop, continue with your out breath and feel like you're rolling your pubic bone towards your belly button and feel the tummy melt backwards and then feel the pelvis tip a little bit into that mat. And I'm going to inhale and let that go. Exhale, allow that connection to wrap, drawing the tummy in and feeling a little bit of a deeper connection as you allow the back to get a little bit closer to the mat. And then breathe in, we're going to find that neutral again. So you get this arch back. We're going to do that one more time. And as you exhale, nice big deep connection. Feeling the abs melt in, feeling the ribs wrap around you. And then we're going to inhale and find your neutral. Great job, everyone. Now I'm going to do what I call your hip roll up into your bridge. And this is where we're going to roll the pelvis up and down, creating a bridge position. So again, we want to just reassess, make sure we're in our neutral spine and pelvis, lovely open collarbones, uh, nice relaxed head and arms relaxed by your side. Knees and feet lined up with the bones of the pelvis. So I'm going to start with that deep scoop that we've just practiced. So give yourself a breath in. As you blow the air out, start to roll the pelvis gently backwards. Scooping the tummy and gently peeling that out. I'm going to go bone by bone and roll up through the spine, articulating just to the shoulder blades. You're not going to go up on your neck or over arch your back. So I want you to just drop the pelvis down if you've done that, but keep your bum lovely and tight. So we've got this super long line from our shoulders to our, our knees. Stay there, give me a big breath in. And then as you exhale, you just start softening from your neck. So bringing this melting feeling in bone by bone and roll all the way back down to the mat. We're going to take another big breath in and do that again. As you exhale, gently peel and roll going bone by bone through your spine, picking up, pressing firmly into the feet, lifting up those hips. We're shrinking the bum cheeks in. Stay there to breathe in wide and deep. And as you exhale, I'm going to soften again through the neck, through the breastbone. I want you to feel like you're going bone by bone and lengthening your bottom away from your head. We're going to do that one more time. Big breath in to keep the bottom down on the mat. Exhale to roll and peel up. Press firmly into the feet. And I want you to feel that the heels are pushing into the mat a little bit more this time. So while we're up here, we're getting a little bit more bum and thigh action. Stay there to breathe in wide and deep. And again, as we exhale, we're softening through and melting down bone by bone towards that mat. Fabulous. And then have you roll onto your side. And again, you can use a panel or block under your head. Uh, for this next exercise, but I'm just going to use my arm here. So bringing the legs up into about 90 degrees, we're just going to do a couple of little side rotation stretches. If you know you're a little bit stiff, you can just have a little rib rock like this and just move the ribs around a little bit. So we're going to be rotating the rib cage around the spine, and this is a chest opener and another breathing exercise. So let's take this arm up, take a big breath in, 
As you exhale, gently supporting the head, open up the chest and move the rib cage around so we've got this lovely open feeling through the body. Stay there and we're breathing into the sides of the ribs. And exhale, we're going to bring that over and back. I'm going to do that one more time. Inhaling to float up, exhaling to rotate over, take that stretch. Stay there to breathe wide and deep, right to the back and sides of the ribs. And use your exhale to feel that connection, drawing the abs in and bringing them all the way back. Now, before we do the other side, I'm just going to come onto my tummy here. I'm going to do a little bit of work warming up the back and the shoulder muscles. And this, this little set of exercises I'm going to do next for you now, it's a really fab way of um, strengthening that upper back. It's also sort of, it's nice and safe for if you have a back injury because it's small range motions. So if you want to feel like you're lengthened on the mat, if you need any pads or pillows under your pelvis, you can grab those now. And you can also have a block under your forehead if you wanted to. We're going to have the fingertips level with the ears and I want you to reach the head away from the tail. So we've got, again, we've got this feeling of creating length through the body. I'm just going to keep my head hovering so you can hear me, but you can pop your head down and let the head relax on, your head, uh, on a block or a pillow or a mat. In this position, we want to have our abdominals connected. So I want you to feel that you're actually drawing the tummy in a little bit away from the mat. You can almost imagine you've got an ice cube under that belly and we're just lifting in. Now, we are going to keep that abdominal connection throughout this next little set of exercises. So try and focus on that little bit of tummy holding in the whole time. Let's take a big breath in. We're going to start to roll the shoulders back a little bit away from the mat. As you exhale, feel the tummy connect and pull in. We're going to float the breastbone forwards and continue to sort of extend that spine up. Now do be careful, you don't want to overextend from the neck. We're going to keep the head lined up with the spine so we get this lovely long extension and your body's not going to go too far because I'm not pushing into the mat. And then we're going to melt that right back down again. So I'm just going to have you keep that breath flowing for me if you can. Start to roll shoulders, take an inhale as you can. Continue with a bit of an exhale as you find the tummy muscles and come up into your extension. Avoid the temptation of overextending the neck. Stay here now, give me a big breath in. And exhale, melt that right back down. I'm going to do that one more time. Inhale, start to roll the shoulders. Exhale, float the breastbone forwards and up. We've got this lovely big stretch. Hold it there, give me a big breath in. And then exhale, melt that all the way back down. Good, now I'm just going to have you do that exact same exercise. We're going to move our arms. We're going to have our arms down by the sides now and they're going to lift up as we come up. So we're getting a little bit more work through these back muscles. So we're going to inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, floating up again, finding those deep tummy muscles to support you. Stay here to breathe in. And exhale back down. This time my head's staying in a long line. And I'm only ever going to lift up to the point where I can stabilise. And you should never feel this in your lumbar spine. If you're feeling it in your lumbar spine, you're coming up too high and you've forgotten your tummy. Let's do this two more times. We're going to roll the shoulders back. Float the breastbone up and come into this lovely long hover like a dark position. Stay there and take a really big breath in. And then exhale to bring that right back down. And again, inhale, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, come into your super long line, feeling the feet reach away from the ears and the ears reach away from the feet. Stay there to breathe in and then bring that back down to the mat. Great job. And we take a little gentle stretch, scoop the tummy and come back. And then we're going to roll that around and do our stretch on the other side. So I'm going to have you... Go ahead and come into this side lying position again, using a block or your arm for support. Moving the ribs a little bit, just to remind yourself what area we're moving. We want to rotate the rib cage around the spine and get a little bit more openness through those collarbones. Inhale to float the top arm up. As you blow the air up, we're going to rotate and open the chest here. Stay there, take a big breath in the back and side to the ribs. And exhale to draw that all the way over and back. Let's do that one more time. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, rotating the ribcage around the spine. Create length from your head to your sit bones. We're opening up the whole body. Direct the breath to the sides of the ribs. And use a big exhale to feel that abdominal connection help you come all the way back. Looking good. Now we're going to turn onto 
our back and we're just going to do a very gentle little bit of tummy here. So there's a few options with this tummy exercise. You can have your arms by your sides and reach like this or you can have with just one hand, do it one hand or both hands behind the head. Now I'm going to pick both hands behind the head. I like to have my head supported but also when you put your hands behind your head you're making the tummy work a little bit harder actually because the arms behind the head means that there's more weight for the abdominals to lift up. So you can do that if you want. And remember, if you have a, a sore neck or a neck injury, um, just be aware that this exercise, uh, you need to support your head. Let's take an inhale. We're going to just drop the chin a tiny bit, just so it's not sticking up too high. So we've got a little bit of craniovertebral flexion here. And then I want you to connect from this section here into this is abdominals. And we're going to flex forwards gently, coming over. And I'm in my Pilates neutral, which means... Stay up here with me, everybody, a little bit of tummy endurance. We've got the pelvis level and we've got a little bit of lumbar arch and I've got my weight centered behind the pelvis. Stay here for another breath, a little bit more endurance and let's take that back down to the mat. Now we are gonna pick up the pace. So what we're gonna do is exhale up and inhale down. Now the movement is from the rib cage here, exhale over. And inhale back. We're just warming up these tummy muscles, getting them to fire up a little bit. But we want to keep this lower body nice and neutral if you can. So almost imagining a cup of water on your pelvis and we don't want to spill it. Let's do that four more times. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice job. Good. Give yourself a little stretch. We're still on our warm up. We are going to flip all the way over onto your hands and knees for a cat stretch. So I love the cat stretch. It's one of my favourite exercises and it just feels fab. Because you're warming everything up, we're getting a lovely stretch for the back, and you're also warming up those core muscles. So we're on hands and knees, and we want to have the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. And we want to feel that we've centered that body weight. Take a big breath in here and we're feeling very, very long from head to tail. Push away from the mat. So we've got a little bit of resistance through those arms. As you exhale, start to curl the tailbone under. We're going to go bone by bone from the lower back to the middle back to the upper back to the shoulders and just let that head go. Maybe give it a little shake. Just let it relax. Stay here and you scoop with your tummy in tight. Direct your breath into the back of the ribs. As you blow your outs in the sit bones away, I'm going to get that ripple going through bone by bone, all the way from your tail, lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders, and head. Stay here with me, we're going to do another one. Take a big breath in. Exhale, curl the tailbone under, big scoop through that tummy, roll bone by bone. I'm going to ripple that through, let that head dangle down, maybe give it a shake. Stay there to breathe in. And as you send the sit bones away, we're going to get that lovely ripple going through bone by bone and lengthening the head away from the tail. And again, avoid that temptation to overlift the head or overarch the back. We're finding our neutral and our long line. Good job, everyone. Now, one more little stretch to finish off. Tuck those toes under, give yourself a big breath in. As you exhale, we're gonna press up, we're just gonna do a little back thigh stretch here, root, and then just take that straight back down. Should feel quite nice. We're gonna do that two more times. Stretch up, reach, and bring it back down. Let's do that one more time. Let's stay here, we're just going to walk it out, a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Beautiful job. Reach, reach, reach. Nice clicky feet. And then taking that forward, if you want to, we're going to come into a little mini plank. Knees down, stretch up. Give yourself a little shoulder shimmy. Let the feet relax and take those sit bones back towards your feet. Stay here and direct your breath into your back for three, two, one, and roll up. Well, I certainly feel like I've mobilized a little bit. I hope you enjoyed that warm up exercises and I hope to see you again soon.